Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Wing Wednesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio, after stalking them for three years, I got them to come down and bring me some wings. <laughs> we have Ryan and Digger we're from CD's Wings in Westminster. Welcome. Thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> it's not, you know, to get them to drive like 40 minutes and cook me all this food, worth it. Uh, who's going to give me a little history of you guys? I can do it. Um, so we've been around so long, long time, actually. Uh, I've been doing it personally almost 20 years. So I started in 2003. That's when it changed the CD's Wings. It was a Willie's Wings prior to that. Uh, my hockey coaches bought it. Um, started working for them right out of high school for a college job, 18, and uh, we bought it in 2007. So it's been a solid 16 years. Um, that, first, that first was a different location, though, right? It was a small one. We were on 92nd and Wads instead of 88th. Um, it was about 1,000 square feet, maybe 1,100. Tiny little place, 80 to 90% takeout. Um, you had 16 seats. 16 wow. seats when yeah. I started. When we, when we left, we had 32 stuffed in there, and it was you were on top of each other for sure. It was not um, ideal by any means. Um, 2018, we had the opportunity to take over uh, old uh, White Fence Farm location. Oh, I didn't know there was White Fence Farm there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they had split the wall, and it's, it was about 2,500, 2,600 square feet. So we took that in February of 2018. Um, then... COVID hit in 2020, and we were thinking about taking the rest of the, the building over. It's a 4,000 that used to be a super salad. Um, and we were about to sign a lease like March 10th of 2020. And we uh, we put that on pause because, you know, the world kind of came to an end, and, or not end, but <laughs> felt, like uh, it. felt like it kind yeah. of yeah, yeah. <laughs> so didn't really know what was going to happen. So uh, we canceled that and went straight to curbside through COVID and uh, actually grew through COVID slightly. So did pretty well. Yeah, and, wings uh, wings did well during the wings were yeah. Wings were an easy wings barbecue pizza. I feel like everyone handled the takeout pretty well. And coming from our small location, it was pretty easy to transition. We were already used to that. It was kind of like we were getting used to having more dine-in instead of takeout, so we just kind of went back to our roots and did takeout for a couple of months until they kind of opened us up. And then the end of 2020, we still had that in our minds, like let's expand if we could. And we signed a lease in October, and then they shut down indoor dining, I believe, again, like right before Thanksgiving. So we went ahead and just did curbside straight and remodeled the whole dining room while we were still doing curbside and um, got it open by on our anniversary mm -hmm. three years later, 21, February 23rd, 21. So your anniversary, so you two are married? Oh, he's talking about our uh, oh, the, opening anniversary. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you two are yes, married? Yes, we are yeah. married. And yes. how long have you been married? Uh, 20, <laughs> I was like, I don't know, 2015, so it's almost uh, eight years. Eight years, eight years, years in June. Mm -hmm. So you met him and he was already in the wing business. Yes, yeah, so yeah. And you, so met, you married into this crazy business. I did. I didn't jump in at first. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah, we decided, we've been doing it together for 12 years now. Okay. Yeah. And awesome. uh, you got a few kids, maybe? Yep, we have three little ones. We've got a five and a half year old, a uh, two year old, and an eight month old. Mazel tov. Mazel. We're very busy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And uh, for people who've never been, describe your concept. So we're just like a counter service. Fast wing, casual. Yeah, a wing, wing place. You, you know, fried wings. Um, we do cook everything to order, so it does take a little bit longer. Um, wings are always fresh, never frozen. Yeah. So that's, that's also why it takes longer. Don't really want to get away from that. It's kind of our, our staple, the fresh, never frozen wings, cook everything to order. It takes a little bit longer. It can take like 20 minutes. Sometimes we're super busy. It does take longer, but uh, I feel like the quality's... Yeah, so most people, they, they don't realize, so most places either par-bake them mm -hmm. or par-fry them yep. because it does take too long. It does take long time. But obviously, things happen when you double cook things. Yep. Uh, it's not probably as good. There's no conversation I told these guys earlier because it happens like every day on social media. Who has the best wings? And... There's always a wide variety on that list, but they're always on the list. And so let's start getting into why you're on the list. Let's yeah. start putting stuff over here and talking about what you brought me for lunch. So we'll start with these guys here. So we got some spicy samurai boneless, kind of like a sweet Thai, like Asian inspired sauce. Um, it's real good, really good on the boneless. I prefer it on the boneless over the bone-in. Well, that, so while you're bringing up sauces, how many sauces? <laughs> That's a great question. That's because like, we've added so many. Uh, uh, well into the mid twenties, I'd yeah, say. I don't really yeah. It's not it. still. It's not. It's not insane. Like I've no. been to insane places. No, we and recently, you rotate too. Yep, yeah, we recently started doing like a flavor of the month. So instead of yeah. continuing to add them, the popular ones we we keep. Um, like the BRG, we didn't bring that today. You did that yeah. last time. Yeah, BRG is yeah. one that people freak out about. Yes, yeah. So we added that to our menu, but we like to rotate them that way. 
everyone can try something different without having like a crazy large menu. Okay, and these ones? These ones are the, are the uh, flavor, of the flavor of the month for April. They're kind of, uh, they're a sriracha ranch dry rub. Mm -hmm. So they turned out pretty good. Um, not too hot, a little not bit. Not too hot. A little bit. Okay. I tried like eight sauces this this time and that was the one that won. So it was like, I was, I was struggling there a little bit. Who comes up with the sauces? Most of the time me and then mm -hmm. she markets it more. So yeah. I'm kinda, I didn't know she, you did sandwiches. Yeah, so we we, just, that was an item of the month that we've kept. We uh, started with a Nashville sandwich, Nashville hot chicken sandwich in January, Yeah, and that crushed it. And so we decided to do just a regular chicken sandwich that we'll have on the menu all the time. So it is a new thing. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. See that? And then uh, just side of waffle fries. I mean, that's waffle probably our most popular side item mm -hmm. anyways. The, the fries, they, they sell out. We have these natural fries that I brought as well, but those are three to one probably as many of these, so... What sauce we got here? We got house, house. I know you tried that mm -hmm. on the restaurants near me, and that's probably top five mm -hmm. sauces we sell the most of. And what's the flavor profile? It's kind of like a spicy barbecue, garlic, Cajun, ranch all mixed together. It's got some kick to it. I say it's like the X Hot range, um, but it's probably by far one of our top flavors. And they got a neat uh, chart on the wall oh, yeah. that can go from shows you from mild to melt your face, right? Yeah. What's that your hottest one? Uh, we have uh, Uncle Nasty's house and No One Left Standing. The Uncle Nasty's is uh, the hot version of that mixed with No One Left Standing. And it was actually for Uncle Nasty that used to be on KBPI. I remember that name. And then No One Left Standing was a buddy of ours um, that had a band that wanted us to do a challenge. So we're like, let's name it after him. This was years that back. That was a funny, funny, funny name, name for name. a sauce. Yeah. And what are you using to bring, bring the heat? Uh, we have habanero, ghost chilies, crushed red pepper. Um, but it definitely has that smokier flavor from the ghost the, cr the ground ghost It's in really hot, but it also tastes really good. Yeah, with one her. of my ones about it yeah. was I didn't want it to just burn your face off and not taste good. Like, I'm, I like, you can, anyone can do that, but like make it taste good as well as like a little bit more challenging, I feel like, so. Okay, and these? That's my personal favorite, just regular Buffalo X Hot. It's got a little crushed red pepper and habanero in there and just a little step up from our hot. Um, it's my personal favorite that I eat probably 90% of the time when I eat wings, because I'm a Buffalo guy. Yeah, me um, too. And then we brought our other item of the month that we're kind of messing with is we got some loaded tots. Um, there's some popcorn chicken, chicken in there that you can't really tell. It kind of looks very similar to the, the uh, tater tots. And then some hot sauce and some ranch and some shredded cheese on there. Um, just kind of an idea. I mean, we kind of, item of the month and sauce of the month is kind of like just throwing darts at a board and see what, see what people like and just kind of, you know. And then we've got the cheese curds on there too. Cheese curds. Diggers uh, from Wisconsin, so. Mostly a Colorado native, and he's been here since he was two, but we have to pay um, yeah. to his We always were uh, roots. cheese curds from Wisconsin, yeah. you know, fits in. So good. All right. What else have we got here? Mm -hmm. We got some cookies here. Oh, yeah. They're, They're delicious. delicious. Um, <clears throat> are you making them? One of our, so... One of our old employees had a buddy that was a pastry chef for a long time, and he, he wanted to start his own business. So I actually got him an oven. He kind of got his business off the ground at our spot. And now he actually has his own spot, making cookies for a bunch of different places. So we still use him. Um, yeah. Looks right on my alley. Nice. Yeah. Local baker. Yeah. Yeah. Chili in there. Yeah. Okay. He does a good job and uh, makes some um, Somebody's already claimed this one. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody has a little sweet tooth, or, uh, Tyler, over there. Um. Give them the address. 7685 West 88th Avenue, uh, Westminster, right on the border of Westminster, Nevada. Um, we're open 11 to 9 Monday or Sunday through Thursday, 11 to 10 Friday, Saturday. Um, it is busy at peak times, so you know you might have to wait a little bit, but I'd, we feel it's worth it. Can they order ahead? Yep. You can order online. Um, I think we're on the Google orders now. There's yeah, new... so we use Toast for ordering, much like a lot of restaurants. But you can order straight from Google. You can go to our website. It's got our link to order online. Um, we don't offer delivery, but we do dine-in, takeout, and car-side pickup. Yeah, you don't want to do it. No. No reason to. No. <laughs> Maybe no. in the future, but until Not we right have to cross yeah. that bridge. No, we give up 30%. No. no, no that's, that's the hard part, right? Like, no one really no. realizes that. So. Did we say what your website was? Oh, just mm. cdswings.com. I'm gonna try the, fl the wing of the Sriracha month, right? Ranch. So, I don't know, you guys, you've seen all the techniques for eating wings, right? Mm -hmm. There's the push down method, that's my, right? That's my method. His method. There's the pull the bone out method. Um, and then there's also the scrape method, right? Yep. 
So I don't I, know. We have some customers who eat them with forks. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not There's, that's a different method. <laughs> so once you pull that bone out, then it's just nice and easy. Easy. easy and then it. the other way is you could just push down the meat like this. Yep. Hold on. It's harder to do some when they're cold. Yeah. yeah, these came all the way, but that's basically that principle. Mm -hmm. All right, take the bone out, and then my method, and not, apparently I'm eating all three of these ones. <laughs> Shocking, is I'm a scraper. Just one bite. So right? I, uh, and that's I how it's done. Do it. yep. <laughs> nice and easy, clean it up. That's how a professional eats wings. Yep. Nothing but I'm left. okay with the other wet methods. Oh yeah, am I supposed to say something? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead and stuff your face, it's good. Right? Oh yeah, nobody's watching anyway. It's just, it's just a scam for me to get you to come down here and bring me some wings. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah. I'm like, it's a good scam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It really, it's an honor that you guys came down here. Give them a try. Tell them, let me know. They're in the conversation. Best wings in Colorado. We'll be back for another episode of West for Lunch tomorrow. Let's eat. That's why I go flat. I like that rub, though. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. pretty good. It was, uh...